We are going to get started on our sketch. And artists make preliminary sketches all the time to generate ideas and just to kind of get a feel of what they want on their paper. So today in your sketch ideas paper, I want you to put your name and your class and just start drawing some ideas that you have. Like I said, artists use these all the time when they start making a piece of art. Sometimes artists call these thumbnail sketches and they might make 10 to 15 little small sketches for a painting or a drawing. And that's basically what we're gonna be doing today. So we're gonna start generating some ideas. It's okay if you add several things in your sketch that you may not put in the final product, but just to get an idea of what you want. This is a place where you can use a bunch of different colors and see what kind of materials look best. You will be able to use markers, color pencils, and crayons. I highly recommend in your preliminary sketch to test all of those things out. When you're done with your sketch and you have a general idea of the colors and the style and the background, hand it to me, review it with me, review it with a partner next to you, and then once you have the approval from me, then move on to your final draft. Your final draft will be a larger piece of paper and on the back you will need to write your first name, your last name, and your homeroom teacher. This is where you may look at your sketch and draw what you've sketched out, use the materials and tools that you used in your sketch idea and use those in your final draft. You know what, this, this part is taking a little too long. I think I know how to speed things up a little bit. Let's see if we can speed up this coloring. Ah, much better, all done now.